Hi everyone, so today I'll be teaching you how to make this washer bracelet. It's mostly just a washer covered in bands and then it just has these things on the sides. Which I honestly don't know what this design is called or whose it is or whatever it is. I just saw, I've seen it in other designs and I just thought it would look nicer than just a single chain on either side because it was kind of skinny. So I figured I'd do this. So what you're going to need is a hook because this is a hook only project. You're going to need a C-clip or an S-clip or whatever you use. You're going to need bands, obviously. I've used pink, purple, and green in this one because they're like my three favorite colors. But to change things up, because I always make my bracelets like pink and stuff, I'm going to be using these gray ones, white ones, and then these really cool ones I have. I'll open it up and show you because it's hard to see through the bag. You have to see one band individually. They're three colors. If you can see, you see that part's clear. One's dark blue, one's like normal blue and they also go on the dark which is really cool. So I'll be using those three colors today and most importantly you're gonna need a washer of some sort. I don't know how big this washer is but like if you look at my hand like that, I don't know I don't know here, here. my hand is not a good comparison in size this is a washer and this is a rubber, one of the rainbow and bands there's a comparison you're wondering. So you're going to need a washer and you need bands and all this stuff. First you're going to need to take out your bands and I'm going to open up the bag real quick. I won't open one bag so far. And you're going to grab your first band which I'm going to use one of my tri-colored cool glow in the darky ones for now. And you're going to stick your hook through the washer. Now if you look at the washer on this side like round and shiny and then this side's like more flat. You want, I, I like to have the round shiny part forward so if I want to stick it through so that so that we like this that the round part is on the top. And you take your band and put it on your hook, pull it through so one side's on each like this and try not to twist it because that makes it look not as nice. And then put the other end on your hook. So now you have it like this. And the least less twist you have, the nicer your bracelet will end up looking. So try to keep it as straight and untwisted as you can. And now you're gonna pull this side through this part. And now you see how twisted I got that. I'm going to try to redo that and not twist it. Sometimes you pull the band through the other band, it gets all twisted. So sometimes you just pick up the one band and put it over. Then you get less twists and it works nicer. So now I'm going to use white because I'm using three colors. So I'm going to stick my hook through a little farther. I'm going to twist it down from around behind and stick it through. And then click the band on my hook, pull it back through, try not to twist it. And then put it back on my hook, if that makes any sense. So it's kind of like that. And now I'm going to pull this one through both of these parts. Which means I'm going to lift these two up and over, because otherwise I'll get a lot of twists in my bands and it won't look nice. Like that, I lifted the one over. And now the other. Don't push the one band off your hook, because it'll all fall apart. And that will be no fun. And now I'm going to use gray, because I feel like it. So I was going to use black, but I couldn't find my black band, so I said gray. I wanted to use gray anyways. So you're going to pull it through again like that. And hook one end back on your hook like that. And then pull that gray one through the other two on your hook. Which basically means pull them up and over, because always you get lots of twists. I figured that out the hard way. My other one had a ton of twists in it. And then I had to sit there and like untwist them all. Well, I didn't want to take it all apart, because it took me a little while. So that's what it should look like. It doesn't look that pretty right now. Because I'm not using that pretty colors. I'm just using gray and white and blue. But once you get more on there, it'll start to look more like this. And it's I like this because you also can see the washer through it. So you get this like, shiny silverness. So yeah. So now I'm going to need another band. And you can stick it through like this. And then pull that, put that one on there. Pull it around. Put it on. And then pull these two back ones. It's really hard to hold this and the hook. So I'm trying to... Because this one wants to twist and I want to try to keep it straight so it's easier for you to see and for me to do it. And then you take this one. This is the same color as the one on the end of your hook. It's as the order they should be in. This is really hard to show you and do. And you just pull this up and over. And then you pull the other one up and over. Because again, sliding them sometimes will get more twists in your bands. And if the back ends up a little more twisted than the front, just always wear it in the back and no one will ever see it. And now, I'm going to need a white band. 
And you're going to stick your hook through the washer. Pull it through. Hook the ends on your, on your hook like that. And then pull these two over. Like that. And I'm going to use gray again. And this would work probably almost better if you had a slightly smaller washer than I do. These are just some random ones I have. Which they're almost a little too big for the bands, but that's better than being too small. And not, and being like too small and looking weird because there's like too much band involved for the size of the washer. If you get what I mean. I thought my bands have a couple little twists in them, but here, give me a second. Come on, go away. There was a, they'll have a slight little twist in them, but if you can avoid the big twist, that's what you really want. And you can either leave them like this, where it's like that, where this is over on the back. Or if you want, like I did on this one, where you can see the little V's on the side. As you go, you can just kind of shove this. It will kind of come back, but then once you're done, you can push it all over and it'll mostly stay. And then you, you get a little nice little border. And now I need a blue band. Stick the hook through, put it on, and like that. And then pull these two up and over. So it looks like that. Oops, I got a twist in it. Let me just untwist it. There. If you make it look twisted on the back and not on the front, that's still okay, because no one will ever see the back, hopefully. This is what it looks like. Again, this is what it will really look like. Of course, in whatever color scheme you do. I'm just doing these color schemes because they're what I feel like doing at the moment. Stick your hook through, pull the band, hook it on, and then pull the back two up and over. And the more careful you are, the less twist and the nicer you basically are. So the more, more, more time you spend on this, it will probably end up looking nicer versus if you just do it really fast. Because... I could totally do this really fast, but if I'm taking my time like this, it ends up looking nicer. This depends if you want to be done sooner or if you want it to actually look nice. Put your hook through. Pull your band through. Hook it on. Try to untwist. If, you don't, if you're going to twist it at this point, it's easier than once you loop the bands over. That makes it harder to untwist. And now pull the one up and over. And then the other up and over. And try to make sure it's not too twisted. A little bit twisted, okay. This is just for bands. It's the inevitable. Can't avoid it. And then I take a blue band, or whatever color you're using. Stick your hook through. As you can see, it's very, like, wants this to pop off, so that's why it's hard to hold on to it. And then pull your back two bands up and over. And up and over. And then... You want to kind of try to keep the outside part a little. You want to try to keep. You don't want it to have big gaps in between the bands. Like, see how to try to keep it sort of even. It won't be matter at the moment, but later it'll be easier. You'll have to mush them around as much. But most of it's ready to be even. Try to keep them even. If anything, you want the outsides farther apart and the insides closer together because there's more surface area on the outside than there's on the inside. That's just how it works with this bracelet. Now I need another band. And then you pull it through, and you hook it, and then you pull the two up and over. And that one has a big twist in it. Go back. Go away. There. I think I got rid of it. At least on the front. It's still... Nope, it's actually gone in the back. I thought, I thought it was still there on the back. It's not. And then there, that's what it looks like. Now I need gray. My hook through. Pull the band through. Hook it on my hook. And then pull these two up and over. There. Now we're close to halfway done. It's a little hard to tell. Because it's like, as you can see, the line isn't straight across because of the way the washer is shaped. But we are pretty close to halfway. So I'm going to do a little more than, than you can watch it do without me. So I need another blue one. Put it through. And put it on the other end of my hook like that. Look at that. And then pull the other two in the back up and over. 
And now I need a white one. Put your hook through, pull the band through, and then like that, pull the other back to up and over. Now I need gray. I'll show you how to do this one, then I'll turn the camera off and I'll come back when it's finished because the rest of the whole washer is exactly the same as, the, as all I've shown you so far. You put your band th hook through and pull your band through. Make sure there's no twist if you can. It makes life easier. And then you pull the back two over. So now I'm going to finish up this part so this video isn't super long for you because long videos get boring sometimes. And I'll be right back to show you how to finish it and then how to put the side parts on. I'm back and I have focus camera. All of them all the way around. There's a little gap. That's because they I once you pull them together they'll be perfect like that. It's also the same amount as I have on this one, so that's how I know. So now the next part, there's two ways you can do this. There's a way I did it, and then there's the way you can do it if you want, and it'll still look just fine. It'll just won't look the same as mine. And I mean these parts. We'll get to those in a second. That's the part I'm talking about. First, you're going to need to go like this. You have your hook on the, in this one, which is your last one. Which, for me, I have three colors. And I have seven sets. How many is that? I was going to count them because it's easy to do math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, and twenty-one, or something like that. I don't really know. I don't really care. But... So you get it all the way around until it looks pretty nice and full, but you can still see like the shiny of the wash, shininess of the washer through it. Cause that's kind of what I like about it. And then you go into your next one, which will be the first one you had. You see that little blue V right there? Not the, yeah, the dark blue V right there for me. You want to stick your hook right through that little band. If you can't get your hook through it, you can just pick it up with your fingers and then stick your hook through it. Cause sometimes that'll work better. You stick your hook right through that. And now you're going to take a band, or whatever color you want. I'm going to use my blue one because it's what I feel like. And you pull it through everything on your hook. And you put your hook like that. Now there's two ways you can do this, like I said. You can either just like, okay, technically there's unlimited ways you could do this, but if I think off the top of my head, there's roughly three ways that I can think of at the moment. It's probably more, but it's up to you. You could either just pull more bands through this and single chain it and then single chain the other side like I'll show you how to how to start it on the other side and then just call it done and single chain and c-clip it that could work you could do this and then you could go and put this on a loom and try to fishtail for each side which would look nice and I think it would look nice but I'm going to show you the way I'm going to do it which is like how I did it for this one which is with this little bit wider thing which is kind of nice looking so I like for that, you're going to have to have, this is the back of mine, I'm going to have to turn this around, or not, I'm going to just turn it like this so you guys can see. So now you see I've gone through this blue one, so I'm going to go through the white one now, put my hook through it, because you have to have two sets of bands, so I'm going to call another blue one through, you can do whatever color you want, this is, this is going to be like a, if you look, I cannot speak, if you look at this, you see how it's like double banded wide, so if you do the same color, for this part, then it'll end up like this with both pink line up and then both purple and then both green. That's how it'll look. So now I put a hook through the white and now I'm going to pull a band through that. And now you can obviously just leave it like this and then go on to the next step. But this bothers me a little bit so I pull this band I just pulled off my hook on my finger. And you see how my hook went through it this way? I'm going to go around the back and so that the band gets flipped around. That's just how I like it. But you don't have to do that. And now you take your two, you see how you have four on your hook. You have this white hat part one, and then you have this blue, and then you have this white, and then you have this blue. It's all really confusing because of the colors. It'll be easier once I get into the next color and it's all the same for you. But you're going to take, you have four loops on your hook. You take your two middle ones, and you crisscross them. And you want to hold the crisscross because it'll try to uncross the crisscross a little bit. Like that. And now you take your next color for me is white and then you see how you have this band and this band and this band and this band how these two were on the opposite sides and now they're crisscrossed you're going to ignore this one behind your finger now which is why I'm holding it these back two you're going to ignore them for the moment and just pull a band through the first two loops on your hook like that 
I have no idea whose design this is. If I figure it out, I'll put it in the description. Or if it's nobody's, it's just one that lots of people use. And now, you're going to take another band, and you're going to have to do this back part. You could either just flip it around and slide it across the end of your hook with a double-ended hook, or you can do it this way. This is where you take your you put the I can't have to speak. You take this white band and you pull it off on your finger and like that so it's hooked, and then you pull another white band through the back two on your hook. Try to do this all without everything falling apart. That's no fun. And then put everything back on your hook like that. That's sort of what it should look like, if you can see that. And now, again, you take your two white bands, you two white bands, you see how there's four loops, you crisscross the two middle ones. And now this doesn't really matter if you don't really care, but I like to make sure that the same one crosses over, just how it looks. This is what it looks like. If you notice, they all cross over the same direction. If you notice, they all cross the same direction, roughly. Yeah, like that. So I like to cross the same direction. If you don't really care, you can go back and forth or just do whatever you feel like. I don't really care, but I like to make them cross the same direction. So since on my other one, the right one crossed over, I'm going to make them all cross over that way. So I crossed the white one over like that. You see that? Now I'm going to move on to the color gray. And I'm going to pull a band through these first two on my hook. And now I'm going to pull that off on my finger and grab another gray band. And I'm going to pull that through these other two in the back of my hook. And then put everything back on your hook. So it looks like that. Now I'm just going to look at this one so I can see how many I did for this. So I repeated my color pattern almost four times. Okay. I just wanted to remember. I want to make sure I'm making the same size because it's going to fit my arm good. And now you crisscross your two bands. Like that. And I crisscrossed them the same way again. Because that's how I want it to look. And now I'm back to the blue. And now I'm going to pull a band through these first two. Pull it off on my hook, on my finger. Take another band. And pull it through those back ones. It's a little bit of a like difficult thing. Getting, holding all these bands at the same time. But once you get the hang of it. It gets pretty easy. And then it looks something like that. Now I crisscross the two middle ones. Again, same direction. I almost always cross the right one over just because it's what I naturally do. Now you pull a white band through your first two bands. Pull it off on your finger. And now grab another band of whatever color that is. For me is white. And then pull it through those back two. And put everything back on your hook. So it looks like that. And now you crisscross your two middle bands again, which for me are white. And then I take that a gray band and pull it through the first two, put it on my finger, pull it off my hook. You probably can't even see a thing I'm doing. And then pull this through, and I'm going to hook it on this finger, and then pull this through like that. And then put everything back on your hook. And if you do all that without it falling apart, you succeeded. And now you crisscross the two middle ones again, which for me is the right, so it looks like that. And then you pull, for me, a blue band through the first two. So it looks like that. I'm making sure you can see. And then you pull that off on your finger. Grab another blue band. Put it on your hook. And then I like to hook it on my, one of my other fingers to hold it. And then take this hand and pull the hook through those two that are on your hook. And then put everything else back on your hook. So it looks like that. Now I crisscross the middle two again. And now I need a white one. Pull it through the first two on my hook. So it looks like that. Take it off, put it on my finger. Like that. Take another white band. Put it on the hook. Hook it over my finger. And then pull it through those bands. And then put it back on my hook along with the other band. So it looks like that. And now we've repeated the pattern. Once we do the next gray, we will have repeated this pattern for my bracelet three times, my color pattern. Which for me, for my arm size, on either side of the bracelet, I like to do one, two, three, four. I'll count on the other one because that one's not finished. I can't count that one. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like to do eleven of that pattern, and then I just single band off the ends because it fits on the C clip that way, like that. But you can do it bigger or smaller, depends. If you have a bigger or smaller washer, you'll need more on the sides because your washer won't cover as much of your arm as mine does. I just have these jumbo ones that I randomly found that I really like because they make nice big bracelets. So now I gotta crisscross over my white ones and do a gray. Or gray through the first two. Put that off on my finger. Or gray through the next two. Whatever color you're using. Put that back on my hook along with the other band. Now I've repeated the pattern one, two, three times. And now I gotta do the pattern technically one more time, but only really not quite. You'll see what I mean. If I have three colors, my pattern is three colors. Now I'm gonna have to crisscross my gray band, which I almost forgot to do. Now I pull a band through the first two, pull that off of my finger, grab another band, put that on my other finger, pull that through those. So it looks like that. Now I crisscross those two bands, and I take a white one, and I pull it through the first one. If you notice, the crisscrossing, if you don't crisscross, you'll just end up with two single chains coming off your bracelet, which could look nice too, but if you want it to be connected, you have to do the crisscross. And now I put that white one off on my finger, and I pull a white band, or whatever color. That one has a knot in it, I don't know why. Probably a project I tried to do and it didn't work, and I just threw it back in the bag, because I'm lazy. Hook that over your hook, hook it over your finger, try to make sure they stay on, and then pull that through and put it all back on your finger. Now you'll notice, I said we repeat the pattern from my bridge from my inside. Technically four times, but technically not. Technically means that now we're to white, we need a gray, but for my arm size, we're not going to do that whole pattern again. We're just going to take one gray band and pull it through everything on my hook. You don't have to crisscross for the last one because it won't matter. So it's like that. Just pull one through. And now I need a C-clip. So I can take this off and put it and start working on the other side of my bracelet. So now I need to put C-clip on, which is... It's easier to do it off camera. If you know how to make rainbow leaves, you know how to put a C-clip on. You just hook it like that. And I put my hook out. And now, voila, half of my bracelet is done. I will show you how to start the other half, and then you can finish it on your own. And I will show you how to finish the bracelet off all the way. Because you just saw how to do this. All you need to know is how to start this one and then end it. So first, you're going to need to look at your bracelet. If you have the same amount as me, I think I have like 21 bands on this. Which means you have an uneven number means you will never have a exact halfway over on this side. If I look at this one, it looks like I have them pretty well even. And I do. I have them as close as I can get. Focus camera. And you kind of look at from where you started, which my ending one, the one I actually start, the first one I did on this one was this side, and then I did this side. So you take your bracelet, you did this side, because this side is just a given for where it lines up. For how you end it. And now you kind of just look straight across. I'm going to lower the camera a little bit. My arms are getting tired of holding my hand, but it's alive. Sorry about that. And so you kind of just look straight across from where you did your other ones. Focus camera. So since I did it in, which one did I do it in? I did it in this blue one and this white one right here. You see that blue and that white one? I did it in those two. So think, if I look at how it lines up, it should be those two, right? Yes. It'll be this white one and this gray one right here, I think. Wait, let me check. Yes, I believe that's correct, yes. This white one and this gray one are where it lines up for me. Right here. So I'll take my hook. I'll stick it through this white one because I'm going to start on this side just because that's how I like to do it. And now, you could do whatever color order you want, but since my color order is the blue, the white, and then the gray, I'm going to do blue first even though it's not going into a blue band. So I'm just going to pull this right through that band and put it back on my hook. And now I'll stick my hook through that gray one. Which, in case you wonder what I'm sticking it through, I'm just sticking it through these little V's on the outside, this little border edge, these little things. I'm just sticking it through those. I'm going to need this gray one right here. Which they're a little tight, so for mine, so it's a little hard. 
but yours might be looser or depends on depend, depending on what size your washer is. Now I'm gonna pull another blue band through that gray one. And again, just personal preference, I'm gonna pull that back off of my finger and flip it around so it's facing the other way. Cause that's how I like it. Cause you don't have to. It'll still look fine if you don't. And now I take the two middles and I crisscross them. And I pull a white one through the first right there. Pull it up on my finger. And pull a white one through the other two on my hook. And then crisscross it and repeat. But you just saw me do that a whole bunch. So now I'm going to go off camera, get to the end, and then I'll show you how to finish off the bracelet. I'm back. And now I've gotten it where I've gotten the whole side done. Now all I have to do is pull a single band through it. So now I've just gotten to where I've got the last white I want. And now I take a gray and I just pull it through everything on my hook. Like that. And now I just take these two ends. And then I just C-clip this, what's on my hook, onto this. While making sure that this is not twisted because otherwise it'll look weird. Just hook it on like that. Pull out my hook. And... Voila, we have a bracelet. Like that. This is what it looks like. And if you put it on your arm, which is what I'm doing right now, this is what it looks like. I really like this one. I, was, I wasn't sure about the colors I picked, but I really like it. I don't know why, I just do. And then this is my other one, I'll put it on the other arm. So you can see, even though I never wear bracelets on my right arm, almost never. Because it drives me nuts. Try to gamble on camera. That's what they look like. And there's my arm. See what they look like. So give this a thumbs up if you like these bracelets, which Rainbow Moon bracelets, they include other objects like these washers. And comment down below if you want more bracelets that involve like washers and stuff, and I'll try to make them. I just saw this laying around, for some reason they were laying in my room, I don't know why, for like a long time, two of them. So I'm like, oh, I'll make a bracelet, and I'm like, oh, I'll make a video out of it, perfect. And subscribe. Bye!